I really gotta stop starting these halfway between 15 minute increments. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. See, we already saw a fossil spot and a weed. I was just gonna say the weed, but fossil spot works too. I don't think Stinky's gonna be up at that uh, hyacinth bush this time. But hey, Bell Boom is in effect now. Good evening, everyone. Right now, and I'll do it. It's 8.38 p.m. on Saturday, October 15th, 2022. Now for today's announcements. Starting today, we'll be shifting to the Bell Boom Ordinance. The price of items will go up a bit, but don't worry. You'll also earn more when selling things. Let's all do our part to support the local economy and put more bells in everyone's pockets. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. I feel like Nook and the Nooklings would be pissed that we're somehow making more money now. That does mean now that the, um, thank you for the doll merch. This does mean that the beautiful island ordinance is no longer in effect, which means we won't have random, uh, like, sprouts of flowers anymore. So there's that. Now, I can't remember what I wanted to do for the northeastern beach, but I did order a lot of things. I also forgot to read what Melba sent me. This is it, What a Geek. I've been told so many times that I take things too seriously, so I'm really going to try to loosen up. From now on, I'm going to be more spontaneous, less stuck on rules and recipes. I'm serious. Oh, rethinking this now, Melba. Doll slippers. You know, walk around town with that. Beautiful statue, which is fake. Potted starter plants. Potted starter plants. KK Doob. And outdoor bench. What do we got here? Pool. Right from my backyard. Lighthouse. Okay, that's what I was going to put at the the, be the beach. Wind turbine. Uh, also by the beach. And windmill. Windmill was going down here. I just got a... Make some space. I was thinking about putting it up here, so I'm gonna need to move one of these trees. Um, give me a coconuts. Could have eaten a pumpkin, I suppose. How big a windmill are we talking here? Okay, it can go too wide. That's good. Nice. I'm trying to remember where I wanted that wind turbine. We'll go to the eastern beach to put down the lighthouse. Raymond's casting his, his rod there. Talk to you in a bit. Did I want to put it up here? I think I did. Because Cap'n's here, and he's the only boat in town, but having a lighthouse means more boats can find their way to the pier. There we are. Just pushing a whole lighthouse. Because why not? Hmm. KK Gumbo! I should know a thing or two about gumbo. I'm from Louisiana. Dang. Let's try that again then. There we go, more centered. I 
Should I put a generator out here? Because, like, we have wind energy with this wind turbine. Maybe we can also put something out here to imply hydroelectric energy. And then the generator can just store it. Let's see here. Trying to see if there would be anything else that could work for storing electricity other than like a battery, but we don't even have a battery. <laughs> the electric kick scooter, sure. Okay, do we even have a generator? No. What if I search for... Okay, nothing even starts with gin. So, no dice there. Okay. Maybe we can temporarily just leave a bench out here, I guess. Still don't know what I want to do for this uh, lowest part of the map. Still want to do the couple of ideas up here. And I will put the bistro table up here now. A little, little cricket. Eh, I don't know. I will be cutting down these trees, don't you worry. Stand, huh? Cool. Yet another dig spot just in this area. Not too shabby. You know what they say about fishing, right? Well, please tell me, because I can't catch anything. You're on your own, bud. some of these trees, too. Let's move this blue windflower. I wanted to move the white one away so that we could potentially get some crossbreeding with those reds and get another blue some ways. But for the time being, this. Who's ready for some good old fashioned wood chopping? I figured chopping down a tree was going to be a uh, an achievement sooner or later. 
a daily one. Cutting wood was another one, probably. Sure enough. And then plant a fruit tree with the tree we cut down? It's a combo move. Definitely uproot you. But maybe I want to have some of these stumps stick around. Maybe not that one, it's too close to the bonfire. I can see something working out with this orientation. I have another idea for a location of a tree. And speaking of a location of a tree, don't want this here anymore. Right there. Makes a nice little star uh, between all of the other stumps. I actually didn't want to shovel that up. Yeah, it's not a perfect star, but it's still nice. Okay. Might need to get rid of these trees eventually too. Because like they're in the way of a of a walkway. Or a pathway more accurately. Should I move this? Can I even move it somewhere? I've got a lot of pears, I can just No. We have another coconut. Can I move it back here? Is that too close to the cliff? Yeah. Whoop. Could I even do it right here? Could it, it might be too close to the campsite. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, it's not even an option. Okay. Fair enough. So no trees back here unless I move the cliff a little bit. I think I'm just going to deforest this place.
not part of the star of stumps, so we'll move it. Um, actually, I just wanted to water my flowers. I didn't want to pet the bunny. Still hoping for purple pansies. Kinda. Not that there's a whole lot of space for them to grow right there, but what are you gonna do? If it's the orange rose that sprouts after that, I'm gonna be a little miffed. Anything cool and unusual happening over here? It's not looking like it. Backyard pool. Backyard pool. Backyard pool. Where is my pool? There we go. Yeah. leave it there, then the possibility of leaves falling from my peach tree, it would be there. No. Also, it's going to be hard to maneuver around the, uh, the clothes rack as well. I guess I could push the clothes rack over here. has an idea. Judge's Bell. I already gave one of those to Stinky. Uh, ten thou. Burry. you being on the same level as the orange tree. You need to move. There we are. Backyard pool. 
Heck yeah. I need to reorganize some of these other trees eventually too. Places. My watering can. More like water and can't. Did everyone leave because of my terrible joke? Well, good riddance. I didn't want you anyway. I didn't mean that. Please come back. Also going to make. I actually can't craft what I'm thinking of crafting, can I? Because I don't have the DIY for it. I don't have log benches. Well, so much for that. Box-shaped seat. I don't know much about this still. Let's craft that. Find out a place to put the. If anywhere. What can we even customize about it? Not much, it seems. Hmm. Okay. I gotta put the stonework kitchen somewhere else. Hmm. I guess up here is fine. Cherry umbrella. Hey, we can. Oh, we already know how to make that. Never mind. Time to dispose of it. I still. No, I don't have another uh, tree ready to go. Just the money tree, and I can put that in the usual spot. Oh, wait, you're a hardwood tree? Well, we can't have that. Cherries it is. I think we need something else here. Maybe more bushes with flowers around them. It's just getting started. Having someone to talk to. Yeah, okay, thanks, Static. What else? I reckon I just saw you putting away a shovel, kiddo. Wouldn't happen to be hunted for treasure, would you? Wouldn't blame you if you were. Reckon you probably heard the same tale of a fortune buried around here. Gah! Yeah, I've said too much. Seeing as how I've been seeking that treasure, I shouldn't be helping you find it first. 
Hey, it's what a geek. I like running into you, even though you're sitting. The best tasting island is I'll do it. Everything tastes great. Everything. I should probably actually put down the damn money tree. There we go. And I'll grab more peaches. Let's spawn a wasp. No luck there. How about now? Yep, that's about right. Lyman! And they dissipate. It's kind of wonderful. What you cooking, dude? Yo, Lyman, you have outdone yourself. It looks good and smells amazing, Chips. What is it? What is it? Making a cherry smoothie. You know how I'm an athlete? Might have brought it up before. Maybe. Alright. Cherry smoothie. Good thing we have cherries on the island now. Thanks, bye. Thanks for the rescue from the, the wasps. One more. There we go. Cherry for Quinn. That is a bush. That is 100% a bush. And for Stinky. I guess an apple. I'm gonna put you back down. Gotta get more stuff into that yard. Where else on this island are there regular old hardwood trees? Did I leave some by Melba and Twiggies? Speaking of Twiggy. My super evening cheapers, that's my other name. Being outside when it's cloudy is actually kind of great. Feels too dark when I'm indoors. No, I guess I did replant their trees the other day. Okay. Well, I'll just hold on to the peaches then. These are all fruit trees. Yeah, I guess we don't have any any more regular hardwood trees. We got a lot of cedar trees, that's for sure. So that's something. Um, let me go pick up another shtick over here. I can throw those away. And that. And those. Okay. It's pretty simple music, but I can get behind it. It reminded me of the, um, in Tetris Effect, the game. 
There's a level where it's like a rainy forest, and whenever you put down a Tetris piece, you'd get, like, a pattering of rain. And, uh, that's what, yeah, that's what that reminded me of. Organic bread and bone door plate. Okie dokie. Don't know if we'll do anything with that, but it's nice to know. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just keep moving these around to be put along the path that I have out right now. Ding. Where can this go? Okay. That's fine. I can make pear smoothie, can't I? Maybe I'll do that to get more out of the pears that I'm overstocked on. Should give me just a single stack of pears. Yeah, there we go. Drink. 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 Delicious. Are you a hardwood tree? I feel like you're not. It is a hardwood tree. All right. Um. Okay. That's fine. Regular fruit tree or more uh, palm trees to line up to uh, Wade's house. I also think I hate that one coconut just chilling out there now, so... Actually, it wouldn't grow there either. I mean, I imagine it wouldn't. Can a cherry tree plop down there? Nope. So, we will resume actually growing this nursery coconut over here. 
And then, and then if I hate it again, then uh, we'll remove it. Sounds good? Cool. I think I will put another palm tree there. I guess I can't just plant it outright. That'd be silly. And I'll eat it to get rid of it. It's spot in my inventory. Static, what are you doing? Thanks, man. Planting them in reverse order, but whatever. bound to happen. Man, more balloons today, huh? I hear it. Or maybe I didn't hear it. Playing tricks on me. My ears, they're in cahoots. No, oh, no, I did hear one. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for that one. Kobe. Nice. Is it the white one? No, it's a black one this time. Neat.
right. I don't suppose I could put this here. I can. Interesting. Okay. You two. You need to go. Just don't know where you'd go. even what I do with them. That's the other thing. Hmm. Sell fruit? Oh, man. I'll move them for now, or at least I'll cut down the pear tree. Same thing as with uh, the Western villagers. Hi, Hugh. I haven't talked to you today. Yay, what a geek. I was just thinking about how I wanted to see you. It's my second time running into you today. The first was in your dreams. Sorry, I wandered in there by accident. What else you got? What's up, Snortle? Hey, you know what I just saw? Someone's been putting out Halloween decorations. That's going to really help me remember what month it is. It's harder than you think, Snortle. Maybe it's harder than you think. We haven't said hi to Melba yet. Let's let's go do that. While we're in the vicinity. Clean it up. Make yourself comfy, Toasty. Today's Saturday, which means the Happy Home Academy will be evaluating homes tomorrow morning. I'm trying to resist the urge to do a bunch of last minute redecorating. I see you've put out your apple jelly. I think it's apple jelly. Yeah. On the stove top. Well played, ma'am. And now you're dusting your curry. Alright. You do you, girl. <sighs> nice refreshing water. Shoop a doop ba ba doo. Scoop a dooby doo. Hmm. 
Don't remember what you were. I'm thinking I should move you down. Or not, actually, because... You're fine as is, honestly. Maybe Hugh's fence extends too far. Maybe that's the problem here, Hugh. some excess bushes I could put down. to catch more fish, but I have a full inventory right now, so not the moment. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. I couldn't even... Can I put something down here? Do I have anything? Good news is nothing can spawn there. Might do something else with that later. If I had a tractor, I'd put it out here. But I don't have a tractor, so I can't do that. Rubbery, hubbery. Oops. Um. I'll put another shroob up here, and another shroob here. Yeah. That evens out. Yeller. Boring. I 
Okay, you need to move closer. It's just a courtesy at this point. Although if I put you here, then... Damn. Not even gonna be symmetrical. Yes, it will bug me. Gets rid of the unique symbol on these right sides by me doing that, but at least they still have them for the inner yards, so it's not a huge loss. I'm just second guessing how I like the end to look like. Is there another spot around here that I wanted to put a bush down and I just didn't? Um, maybe. Could have been right there where the cherries are. on the ables at all? I think it does. This one, on the other hand, does not.
How would a peach tree... Not where I meant to put that. Fine, I'll eat a cherry. I meant to put it right next to that. Let's see how that goes. Still don't know what I want to do with you. And I never will. Did I bonk this rock? Thought I did. Another balloon, I hear. My dimples, what a delightful coincidence running into you here, Bobby. That is my other name. The store has such a delightful variety of items for sale. I just love how eclectic it is. I, for one, find it comforting to know that I might find all sorts of things I might need in one place. Ooh. Hanging cube light. Let's go. I'll buy that. And a Monstera. In a yellow and red-ish orange container. And an antique vanity. It's very expensive, though, so probably not that. I would also like to sell... These fine goods. Yep. Hey, a cool twenty thousand. Time to ruin it. Say hi to Blathers. Nothing new there. Let's see about these. Archelon, Diplo, T-Rex, Mammoth. Eh. Nothing really... jumping out. And they're all... parts of a full... um... creature. Why don't I grab a couple of these pansies?
Make a blue bush. And then... Pink, blue, maybe orange. We got some orange stuff. down this first orange rose instead because I already watered that one. Orange lily and orange tulip I guess because we have one of those right? Don't we? Do I not? Could have sworn. Could have sworn we had an orange tulip. Weird. Okay. It's a little disconcerting. Huh. Whack. Well, time to make more orange, uh, sorry, more uh, yellow tulips. Upper one? I did, okay. I just have to wait another second. But no. I had to be impatient. With big air quotes. Uh, and I guess a good alternative orange. Could be the windflowers. I was thinking the pansy. But I already have a lot of pansies out there. I'll go for Windflower, I suppose. Or... No. Hyacinth. That is a pink Hyacinth. I meant to grab that. I guess we'll plant the pink one in its place. We don't have a whole lot of purples yet, just the roses. thought about putting fences down here. Like leading up to resident services. Do I hear another balloon? Yep. More money. And the 
question is, what fencing should I put down? Maybe brick fencing? I do have that, right? Sure do. Not enough clay, though. Maybe the iron fencing. Though I still really do like my hedges. While we're here... Probably have to toy around with this a little bit more. But for right now, what's wrong with black iron fencing? is that it would go all the way up there and then we can walk down this way wondering if I should have pushed the pathway a little further over. I guess I could make it wider. But I don't know. Haven't decided yet. have dissuaded on is I need another boosh a tea olive boosh so what I'm gonna do is take these and get rid of them over here. And I don't want the windflowers, so I'll put them over here. Have them be a nuisance on their own.
instead, I did this. And then I also did... And hear me out. This. Eh? Diversity? You'd love to see it. about we get started on clearing all this away. Let's start by covering up the the um, river, or the waterfall even. This is not a symmetrical um, pond. Which is fine. It was almost symmetrical, and then it had that little spot on the right jutting out. It will be easier for uh, deconstruction to just clear out all of this. Um, water now. You heard what sounded like a vibration. It was not your phone, but it was mine. I'm also disappointed that we have not run into a specific nighttime visitor yet. We've run into Celeste twice, but there's still one nighttime exclusive visitor who has never shown up on I'll Do It before, and I'm surprised that he hasn't. By all accounts, he should have had at least one night where he spawned, but because I tend to play um, either in the morning or in the afternoon, and rarely late enough at night, uh, he just hasn't shown up yet. I don't remember when exactly he can spawn. I want to say it's past 8 p.m. So, yeah. That's my guess, is just that we haven't done enough 8 p.m. and later um, outings. We got Imperial Decorative Shelves. Cool. Don't know if anyone on my island would even appreciate that, but nice that we got it all the same. Two wasps, huh? Okay, we'll also take this away. And let's get to shopping. Never mind. Forget I said anything. I will need sticks, and I'm good with everything else. I will need sticks. Hey, a pine cone. Go figure. Come on, three more. If any of you yawned, how dare you? How dare you have sympathy for me? Wrong button, wrong button, right button.
I hear another balloon. I don't think it's on my plane, but maybe it's on my seaplane. Fine, I'll go look for it. Hold on. Hugh, do you see a balloon anywhere? Or am I just crazy? Well, that's confirmed. You heard it here first. Is crazy. Yep, is crazy. Damn, I was hoping the secret wouldn't come out so soon. Whoop. up and ready for demo demolition let's get at it with my axe uh, this button there we go cliff construction it's gonna take a while let's see story time I guess what do I want to talk about Anything interesting happened at work today? Um, well, not today per se. One thing I get working in retail a fair bit is someone coming up to me and asking, excuse me, do you work here? So I look at them wearing my uniform, sometimes a visor, uh, depending on which department I'm working in. Um, and my name tag with the company logo on it. And um, my shirt, which also has the logo on it. The visor does have the logo on it. They usually approach me from behind as I'm stocking shelves. Um, so often do I want to just tell them, no, I don't work here. I just support the local baseball team. Which, uh, my store does not have a local baseball team, so it makes it that much funnier. just I mean I get it you can never be too sure but sometimes you can put two and two together and just infer like if somebody is putting away cheese or if they're cutting if they're breaking down cardboard boxes after putting the the product on the shelf you can kind of guess that Yes, they do work here, in some respect. They may not know, or they may not work for the company, in particular, but the fact that they are doing a job at this current location means that they kind of know their way around the location. And their question always is, uh, what is the location of this thing? Or, um... Actually, no, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, where can I find this thing? Is it around here somewhere? Or, do you stock this thing? In most instances, if we do stock that thing, it just isn't in at the moment, and they have to come back another day. But, uh, when it comes to location-based 
questions. Like, yeah, you could probably ask somebody who works at the store, at the store, even if it isn't the store that they work for, you know? And they could probably tell you that. Like, a lot of the uh, vendors in the store will be able to point you in a general direction. And especially when it comes to questions like, um, something obvious, where are the box dinners located, or where is the cereal located? In order to pick out what, um, what aisle number it is, because I know which aisle it's in, I just don't remember what aisle number it's in. So, I look up at the boards that point out which products are in what aisle. I don't think that process has ever occurred to some of these customers. It's like, how can I find where a product is? If only there was some sort of signage that would tell me that. Well, better ask this guy. Um, so like, I, I can tell you, yeah, cereal would be in aisle six, but I don't recall if aisle six is the correct number. So give me one second as I look at the signage to confirm. Yep, that is the, the case. Go to aisle six. It's a little, a little silly. And then there are the customers who ask for product that uh, not too many places would sell. So, asking someone who just stocks shelves at a regular old supermarket. Do you have this very exclusive thing that I found once at a different supermarket that may or may not be exclusive to that supermarket? No, I can't say I have. Well, can you go check for me? Okay, I guess I'll take some time out of my shift to uh, go look for this thing that is probably exclusive to a different location. And then I go into the back for a few minutes. I come out. And more often than not, I can tell them, hey, we don't have that thing. And then they go, okay, thanks, bye. Uh, other times I'll come out and they've already left. As if it's not that important to them. Or if time is money and they can't wait two minutes for me to go look in the back after I'm trying to be helpful to them. Some customers, man. Not to say generally customers are unpleasant to deal with, but I actually do enjoy whenever a customer understands, I guess, boundaries and like what the job entails so they are a little bit more polite about everything or more willing to joke around. Stuff like that. It can be fun to interact with some customers, but uh, when you also have to deal with customers who will actively come up close to you, you who might be wearing a mask to prevent yourself from getting any, uh, from catching any specific illnesses or pandemic related illnesses, and then they come up to you while they are not wearing a mask and uh, speak at you about um, a question that could have very easily been answered by simple observation. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's something.
what else to talk about. Because this is still going on. Um, whoops. More stories about the job, but what stories do I even have? Other troublesome employees? Would that even be a thing? Outside of the pretty unanimous um, assumption that the produce manager I work with is not the greatest. Um, I got no real bad stories about recent uh, employee problems. There was one guy who was very transphobic and uh, also apparently homophobic. And that was... Uh, Certainly a pleasant, very heavy sarcasm experience. Dude was always making fun of, uh, of the porter. This is at a different store. Who, um, who was schizophrenic and didn't really have very good people skills. But, um, thanks to a couple of incidents where, like, he... The porter didn't really understand that he needed to leave the bathroom whenever someone was using it, because he was in the middle of cleaning it, someone needed to use the bathroom, and he just stayed in there. Um, because of something like that, this old man uh, would tease him behind his back, calling him, you know, gay. And, um, he had told a story to me early on that uh, one time he was he, I don't know if he was just talking to the porter like casually or if he was actually like poking fun at him to his face but the porter ended up growling at him like out of anger which is out of context a weird thing to hear about but when you consider the possibility that he was being teased yeah, I would be upset too, and if I couldn't channel that anger somehow, then how else would I communicate to him? Back the fuck off, dude. So I think the the porter was in the right to have acted like that, and this old man who was being an asshole kinda deserved that. Um, the transphobic thing was, um, I was working with a different employee at the time, and, um, the old man comes up to us. He, he and I haven't really been talking too much at this point, because, uh, he would tell a story and I would just kind of stand there and listen, but emote, like, wouldn't even emote at anything, so I guess he just figured I was boring to talk to, which makes sense. Anyway, um, he comes up to us out of nowhere and tells a story about he how he just ran into, in his words, a tranny. Um, and went on to explain the like what happened. It, it didn't sound like he had interacted with them at the store, but it was also possible he did just interact with them at the store and like tried to. Um, have a the person had a question and uh old man answered it i guess but anyway um during the conversation he was using pronouns it instead of they instead of he instead of she he was using it and i didn't want to have to listen to that, so I reported him to uh, the managers, and uh, HR even stepped in. I don't remember what the ultimate conclusion was, like what happened with him. Maybe he was just put like on watch, but between him and me, uh, I just... We, we were told to not work with one another anymore, and I was satisfied with that. I don't want to have to work with that kind of asshole.
So anyway. And that was at the, a different uh, store before I transferred to this current one. So, considering how there was that guy at the at the old place, and then now I have a bad produce manager, it just goes to show that no matter where you go, there will be someone to uh, like have beef with. So, yeah, unfortunate, but it happens. I guess that's another story, too, that happened recently, is, um, yesterday, yeah, in the Frozen department, uh, the manager, who is usually a, a pretty cool dude, the center store manager, he, uh, comes up to me and one of the other employees and, um, asks us, hey, um, are you guys, do you guys know not to, um, stock these items in a different um, in a different place so so like in this case it was like meat sauce um, one of them being um, or rather the correct spot for it being to the right of this other spot that had supposedly a ravioli suppose it was supposed to be there um, but in that ravioli spot was more meat sauce, so he was trying to figure out who could have possibly put the meat sauce into the ravioli spot when it should not have gone there. And uh, he was getting fed up because it had been happening for the longest time. And um, he grilled both of us, and I, ha I had an alibi. Well, kind of. I had stocked meat sauce that day... Uh, already, but I knew that it went into the bunker, so I didn't even try to put it on the shelf because I saw that it was very full, even including the spot where it shouldn't have gone. Though at the time, I didn't know that it should not have gone to the left. It was just in its correct spot, and then it was also taking up the space to its left. Um, so yeah. I was... I feel like I was partly at fault for not noticing it shouldn't have belonged there, but I also didn't know if I should have, you know, tangled with it, if that makes sense. Anyway. The conclusion to that story is, um, the manager, even though he is cool, and some managers can always keep their cool, um, it's not always gonna be pleasant. Like, they, they have to do some, uh, confrontation at some point. So don't expect you can get away with literally everything. Even they have feelings, too. Okay, we've made that area. That's cool. That's, that's some progress towards some of the ideas that I had. And we have a cafe area up here. Probably gonna need some more, um, like, ladders or vines or something. Hey, look, another balloon. Cobeth. Spooky Scarecrow. Let's go stop in at resident services.
Let's get our construction sign. Yeah, if it's going to be a dig site, then probably a portable toilet. Okay. I think that'll do it for those kinds of things. Well, hold up. Maybe I'll get a utility pole for Statics Place. Give it a bit more of an urban feel. And we can't sell anything directly to the Nooklings today anymore because it's uh, too late in the day. I think I'm good to call it pretty soon. So... Let's go stop in at Harv's Island, see what Red has in store. Then, I guess, come see KK perform and then put some stuff away and go to sleep? Sounds good to me. By the way, thanks for uh, watching this far, if you've been watching this so far. I appreciate uh, people hanging out with me. Not a whole lot else happens in my day-to-day -day that I think would be too interesting to hear about. What would you do today? Played Splatoon 3. What else? What is up? Fake? I don't remember what this one is, but this is a fake because uh, the arm holding the discus has a watch on it. He's gotta know the time. He doesn't need pants, but he got he got to know the times. Do you have anything interesting for me? I don't think he does. <laughs> mm. Holly season is pretty close. Maybe I should get more tea olives. Nah. I also forgot that we still have two other um, dailies to do. Maybe I should establish a new co-op? Maybe? Hmm. I've got the money. Sure, we'll establish a new co-op. Talented husband and wife furniture refurbishing team. All I need is 90,000 bells. Let's do it. Shabadoo pop boop. Cool. Let's be off again. Last thing we'll do today will, will be um, watching KK perform. So let's go home, deposit some things, and then uh, go fishing and sea diving.
Gotta keep some of these things available for uh, selling tomorrow. And turnips are also available to buy tomorrow morning, and I'll actually be home uh, to do that. So, that is what I will do. Tomorrow will be a bit more of an early episode. Well, morning episode. Uh, looks good to me. Wait. There you go. Okay. Let's grab some Nook Miles. How am I a true patron of the arts if I keep buying fake things? What's that about? Hello, Hugh. Did we ever say hi to Quinn today? I don't think we did. Is she at home? If she's in the museum, then I'm not interested in saying hi. No, she's at home. Sipping a cola. I love kids. I don't. I know I don't look it, but I was an awesome babysitter back in the day. Kids are so curious that it's kind of inspiring. They'd ask a million questions, and I'd be clueless. It made me want to learn more just so I could answer them proper. Yeah, sisterly villagers really strike me as the uh, babysitting type. A cavalier shirt. This is not gonna match in style, but let's do it. Yeah. For the last few minutes of the day, we'll be a cavalier. Not a dueling cavalier, not a dancing cavalier. Nah. Cavalier. Static, you want a fossil? A clean room suit. Dang. I panicked. Hello, Hugh. I was looking for you. A barista uniform. That's more like it, Red Snapper. I'm glad when running through the produce, you don't accidentally trample any of it like you would the flowers. And I also hope no one minds that I'm not picking up any more gyroid fragments. I've got so many, I don't know what to do with them. This is embarrassing. Red Snapper again? Man. Bell Boom coming in. I don't think it actually affects the um, fish you can catch. Panicked. 
Hey, we're back to getting these. But we got a new DIY for it. Which is... A recycled canned thumb piano. So we can make music with it. Oop, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Hey, you baby fish. Or maybe another empty can, who knows. Nope. Damn you, Bell Boom. Not coming in on me. Look, when I ask you to invade my house, I need you to come in on me. Plunk. A boot! It uh, wasn't made for swimming. Probably wear these if I found another boot, right? Got another DIY recipe idea. So the moment beautiful island ordinance is gone, now we're fishing up trash. Everyone unanimously decided, okay, we're done with cleaning up trash, you fish them out. Ungrateful little guys. Who do they think is the resident representative? Oh, it's me. Hey look, there's a statue of you down below me. Okay. Is that a statue of a dab in your pants? That's not what I meant. Don't even, or even. Hey guys, you talking? Oh, Dimples, you're here just in time. He was trying to figure out what the J stands for in a PB&J sandwich. I kid you not. I know it, I know it. Don't rush me. It's peanut butter and... J j borscht? Oh, you silly thing. You know it's gonna be a J word. Come on, you can do it, Bobby. Man, I hate it when she treats me like I don't know anything. But, uh, what a geek. Do you know what the J stands for in a PB&J sandwich? Jellyfish. Dimples! You can't say any old thing just because you know he won't know the difference. Jellyfish! Yeah, that's totally it. I can't believe I forgot that. Seriously, darling? Jellyfish? That doesn't sound completely wrong to you. Why would it? I love jellyfish. They're so sweet and yummy. They're my favorite candy. Wait. Jellyfish aren't... Do you mean jelly beans? Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Jelly beans. <laughs> Good grief. I give up. Put whatever you like on your peanut butter sandwich, my dear. Your stomach is made of stronger stuff than mine. That was a pretty great interaction, actually. I really like that. See that, Captain? Bet you can't do that. Nah, he don't care. For a second, I thought uh, Hugh was talking about Swedish fish. Oh, he is. That thing is tearing off. Get back here. Okay, maybe it was just a fluke. Uh, maybe not. I underestimated it. Get back here. Umbrella octopus. Which comes in a neat little tube. I'll display it when we're on land. Oh, another fast thing. This time with a bigger shadow. And now. Ah, damn. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not, yeah. Don't worry, we, we can get it. Just gotta approach it slowly. Or it can juke us. Okay, hold on, we got this, we got this. 
Approach it slowly. And dive. Gotcha. Venus's flower basket. Come on now. And what of you? Are you gonna speed off as well? Nope, not as fast. Hey. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. Well, I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. You ever heard of the tail wagging the dog? There's no way, man, I've done the math. Consider yourself truth. Yep, today is a good day. Pascal is Barks' favorite character. NPC, I mean. If Flora is not part of the conversation, it's Pascal. Okay, that's the other two dailies out of the way. Let's see what Pascal left us. A mermaid fishy dress. Don't know if any one of my guys would really like that, but nice that uh, he gave it to us. Gonna take off the wetsuit. Uh, I should probably also take off the hat. Huzzah. Let's listen to KK's concert to close out the day. Let's hear it. Leave it up to you. Take a seat, we'll jam. I'll sit opposite of Wade. Right on, I'm tuned up and ready to roll. Who's in the mood for a little KK salsa? Man, we already have that one, though. Alright, well, let's listen. applaud all right oh there we go my character is doing it I want you to give you pockets a glance I slipped you a boot of the show that was like unreal thanks for tuning your dial in my direction but I already have KK salsa don't I 
Is it... Oh, it's Samba I'm thinking of. Maybe I don't have Salsa. I did not. Ah, oh, it's the one with Phoebe on it. Okay. I thought it was the one with, um... Oh, what's his name? From, um, Festival. You know, the Peacock NPC. We haven't actually met him in this playthrough yet, but, uh... You know who I'm talking about. Anyway, Tota Salsa. Guess that'll do it for today. Let's get out of here. Uh, hi, Hugh. Little curly tail. Huh. Big yawn. Let's get some deposits here. Um, empty can. Boot. Uh, fishy dress. While I'm here, place item. Boom. He's in his little, little tube. Boo whip. Boo whip. And back down. That's a good egg. If he is even an egg. Uh. Sure, we'll put the dandy hat away. I've been liking it. And put that away too. All right. That'll do it for today. Tomorrow, Sunday, which means turnips. And, um... That is also the di If I have this right. Tomorrow is also the... Fine? No. Second to last Sunday of this play daily playthrough. Uh, which means not tomorrow, but next Sunday will be the end of it. I think I have that right. Uh, if I don't, then I mean a week from today. So, there's that. Sorry if I'm providing conflicting information. Uh, whenever episode 50 is, that's when the series will, uh, stop being daily. For tomorrow, though, turnips for sure, probably paradise planning, and um, a little bit of designing with the new things we uh, made today. But that's for tomorrow, so until then, see ya.